Set against the backdrop of the American political scene of the 1950s, the Manchurian candidate brings to life the paranoia and fanaticism that was prevalent during that era. And I have here a list of the names of 207 persons who are known by the Secretary of Defense as being members of the Communist Party. A Medal of Honor winner returns home from the war and is swept up in a finely composed political overture orchestrated by his sinister mother. You did this, mother. One who has been you organized this disgusting tree race circus. Darling, you're a Medal of Honor winner. America. Incidentally, congratulations. He becomes the instrument of her monstrous ambition. Johnny's up for re-election in November. You've got it all figured out, haven't you? Johnny Island's boy, Medal of Honor winner. That should get you another 50,000 votes. You know I want nothing for myself. You know that my entire life is devoted to helping Mother, you and to helping stop. Johnny. But behind the heroic facade lies the pawn of a far more menacing force. Normally conditioned American has been trained to kill, then to have no memory of having killed. Raymond, why don't you pass the time by playing a little solitaire? Raymond Shaw is the communist's new secret weapon. The key to unleashing his killer instincts lies in a simple game of cards. Do you realize, comrade, the implications of the weapon that has been placed at your disposal? Adapted from Richard Condon's best-selling novel, The Manchurian Candidate was noted for its controversial story and its stellar cast. <laughs>